my channel. Today I am super excited because I will be featuring some of my favorite summer and spring scents. Today I'll be featuring some of my favorite perfumes. The fragrances that I really love. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. These are some of the best perfumes in my humble opinion and I think you guys are going to really like this. I've got some sweets, some florals, some fruities, even tropical. I have something for just about every scent connoisseur. So without further ado you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a visitor who wanted to join and this is my dog Jasper. He won't let me record without scratching my legs up, so I'm going to let him be a part of the video, at least for a little while. He's like my shadow, so he knows about these scents, don't you, man? So the first fragrance we have is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. So this is a very sweet, fruity, slightly citrusy, floral scent. It smells a little bit like raspberries. But then I smell orange in there, and then it's a nice floral in there as well. I like wearing this for the summer. I so I had the original uh, Bright Crystal, and it didn't last as long, but it was still a very nice fragrance. But this is more intense, and it definitely screams summer. So I would uh, definitely recommend this. I got this in a 3.4, no, I got this in a 3 ounce. I got this in a three ounce bottle. That is Bright Crystal Absolute by Versace. Right? <laughs> so next I have uh, Omnia Coral by Bulgari. And this just smells like summer in a bottle. And this is very floral. This is a uh, very fruity, slightly floral, even aquatic, and it even has a slight musky scent to it. I really love this, and I definitely recommend this for the summer. In fact, this smells like a straight out summer spring scent. I probably wouldn't even wear this any other time of the year, not because there's anything wrong with it, but it just really reminds you of summer. It makes you happy, it makes you think of the sun. What do you think about this one? <laughs> He's like, get that out of here. And next I have Jimmy Choo Exotic. And this one screams Bahamas, Jamaica, beach, warmth, fruit, tropical fruit, sand in my feet. This literally smells like a tropical vacation. I love this, it's very fruity, it's very sweet, slightly floral. It smells like um, it has maybe black currant or some type of black dark berries in it. And it also smells like it may have like raspberry or strawberry in it. It smells a little bit like the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. And I think that's because it has a, that's because it also has uh, the tiger orchid and the, that's the same Indonesian patchouli in it. This is an all day toilet, but you definitely do not need a lot of this. Like the original, it is very strong and it is very long lasting. And if you spray too much of this, you might end up with a headache. And there are other versions of this. Um, there's one that's red, same exact scent, just different colors. And that's Jimmy Choo Exotic. And I got this in a 3.3 .3 fluid ounce bottle. Absolutely love this scent. Casper. Jasperoni, do you like this? Hmm? Do you like this? Hmm? What do you think? Hmm? No? <laughs> ah. And next I have Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. And this was love at first sniff for me. It smells like peach or pear, maybe a little bit more pear to me. And then it also has um, a slightly floral scent, but it really also smells like cotton to me, like fresh, clean cotton. It's just light and it's clean and it's airy and it's beautiful. And it's just everything that you would look for in a scent for the summer. So I definitely recommend this. This is... 
and I got this in a 1.7 ounce bottle like this one and he seems to like this one you like that one hmm? do you like it he likes this one this is Jasper certified right here you ready to go take a nap I think he's getting a little tired you guys he may even want a snack so and then you know dogs have stronger senses than we do so I don't want to wear him out with the scents right man right baby okay so we're gonna go ahead and let him go I love you yes I do I love you he is just the sweetest but don't let the sweet face fool you because this one right here is a rocket he is so fast and I honestly think he thinks he can fly because he likes to climb up on stuff and just shoot straight down so he's acting like a sweet little baby now but which he is but he's also fast and he's also got a lot of personality Say bye, everyone. Bye. so as requested by Jasper pure poison by Dior I think the lightness of the bottle is making it to where it's not focusing. So Pure Poison by Christian Dior. And this is a floral fragrance if I've never smelled one before. This is a pure floral fragrance. It smells like it has a lot of white florals in there. And then I really pick up Jasmine and I love Jasmine. And like I said before, I'm not too big on florals, but when they're done right, I really love them. It actually took me a minute to get used to this one, but now that I'm getting used to it, I'm really starting to love it. I'm appreciating the uniqueness of this fragrance. Jasmine adds a beautiful layer to this fragrance, and it dries down to a very creamy sandalwood, and that's what I really, really love about this fragrance. So this is uh, Pure Poison by Dior. Definitely a year-round fragrance, but the floral makes it a summer fragrance. And I think you guys, if you like florals, you'll like this. And I got this in a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. So this is the biggest bottle that it comes in, I believe. Just delightful. And another scent to Dior's Poison line is Poison Girl. It's like a sweet, vanilla-ish, uh, almond type scent you know how almond sometimes has like that cherry scent to it I kind of picked that up in this and then it's like the there's like a hint of orange that kind of cuts the sweetness this actually smells like a sweet oriental fragrance it's very good I love this this is probably these two are probably my favorites from the poison line and what I like to do sometimes is I like to um, mix these sometimes. Like I like to layer these sometimes. Like if I put Poison Girl on, then I'll lightly spray the Pure Poison on to give it a little uh, floral boost, and vice versa. Um, these work very well together, but standalone, they're awesome as well. Um, that is Pure Poison and Poison Girl by Dior. Love these two fragrances, and these are definitely summer must-haves. Versace Eros por Femme. And this is a very citrusy, lemony, fresh, clean, slightly fruity, slightly floral scent. Perfect for the summer. And the thing about this is it performs really well in the heat. So if you're out in the uh, sun and you start sweating, I think that this intensifies a bit and it actually um, blooms a little. And I got this in a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. Marc Jacobs Honey. This is actually my second bottle of this. I got this in a 3.4 ounce. This just smells like peach, nectar, honey. And it's a very smooth honey. Honey in this is amazing. Um, it's not like the synthetic sharp honey that kind of borderline makes you sick. This is a very smooth. Then there's hints of vanilla. And then when I smell this, I'm just immediately, I just imagine running through a field of flowers. This is one of those pleasant memory evoking scents. And this is definitely 
one of my go-to summer fragrances. Rose Essential by Bagari. And oh my goodness, this is a rose scented perfume. But this is rose in the most beautiful, elegant, sweet way that you could possibly imagine. This is actually my second bottle of this. I used to wear this scent out as well. I love wearing this out of the shower. I love spraying this on my pillows. This just smells kind of Victorian to me, if that makes any sense. It makes me imagine like being in England, uh, having like a Victorian style tea um, party. And what I love to do is, I also love to layer this with other scents. Like when I just want to add a small hint of rose to certain um, perfumes, this is the one I go to. This pretty much, I've never paired this with anything that it didn't smell good with. And I got this in a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. Fiori by Vince Camuto. And this is one of my favorite floral fragrances. Very floral, slightly fruity, slightly uh, citrusy, and even slightly powdery. But the powder just adds a really nice, clean addition to the scent, and it's not too much. I really love this. This is a very magnificent fragrance. And this, this is Fiori by Vince Camuto. And I got this in a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. And next I have Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. And this is the Christian. It's This is a very green floral. And I really pick up a uh, rose in this, and the rose really does wonders in this fragrance. This also has uh, like a slightly woodsy scent. This is definitely aromatic. It just literally blows blows you away. When I'm not too sure of perfumes, um, beyond the sample, I'll go ahead and get a one ounce bottle just to see how it works for me. And I kind of regret not getting the biggest bottle of this because I know I'm gonna run through this fast. I love this already and this is just a phenomenal scent. There's also another one called Rosa Botanica and I haven't been able to spray that yet but I wanna uh, find out what that smells like because if it's anything like this, I'm sure I'm gonna love that one as well. This is definitely a fresh summer scent and I think you guys will really like this one. And that is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. And next I have Hot Couture by Givenchy. This is a very citrusy, clean, fruity, sweet scent. I usually go heavy on this. It's very clean, it's very light. If you're a minimalist and you don't, and you like beautiful scents that's not too heavy, you'll really like the uh, Hot Couture by Givenchy. It almost smells a little bit like sweet champagne too, I don't know. Uh, this is excellent for the summer. It's light, it's clean, it's fresh, it's slightly fruity, slightly citrusy, slightly floral. Perfect for the summer, perfect for the spring. And that is Hot Couture by Givenchy. 3.7, I'm oh, sorry, I couldn't see it on the bottom of the thing, so I had to pull the box out. But yeah, this is a 1.7. Viva la Juicy Noir. This smells a lot like Bonbon by Victor and Ralph, but it is more fruity and more juicy. But it definitely has that cure of mint. It's also like a hint of amber and maybe sandalwood. And it even has like a hint of vanilla in there. If you for some reason don't like Bonbon, then I would recommend trying this because it's very similar, but it's a little different. And it's also a little bit more affordable as well. So I got this in a 3.4 ounce bottle. It's Viva La Juicy Noir by Juicy Couture. La Vie est Belle by Lango. This smells sweet, it smells vanilla -y. it smells fruity. It smells like it may have like caramel or tonka bean in there. Then it smells like it may have a little amber maybe a little patchouli in there but this is definitely an amazing gourmand scent the dry down is similar to flower bomb but it's still kind of different it's its own unique scent but I love this 
And one thing about this fragrance is you can wear it any time of year, but in the summer, this really performs well. The heat seems to make this scent bloom, um, meaning it makes it a little bit more intense. In the dead of the summer, the last thing you want is for your fragrance to flake on you. And this does the exact opposite. It sticks with you and it intensifies and it just marries beautifully into your scent in the summer. And I love that because in the summer you tend to get hot, you tend to get sweaty, and this does not flake whatsoever. So I think this, I think for that reason, coupled with the fact that it's just a marvelous scent, that this is a great summer fragrance. And that is La Vie est Belle by Lancome. And I got this in a one ounce bottle and last but not least Olympia by Paco Rabanne and every time I see or spray this fragrance the Kanye West song just starts playing in my head like uh <laughs> they pick like the perfect song for this they say this is a salted vanilla and when I initially smelled this, I thought salted caramel. It definitely has that uh, sweet, sharp. The salted vanilla does wonders for this fragrance. This is a very unique fragrance. It's very sweet, woody, salty. Um, um, if you know what cashmere smells like, it kind of has a little scent of maybe cashmere. Then it smells like sandalwood, and then it's slightly powdery. And it's also slightly aquatic, and I think that the salt and the aquatic notes in this fragrance kind of remind you of a beach a little bit, if that makes any sense. All of those elements together just creates a bombshell of a fragrance. I got this in a 2.7 fluid ounce bottle. And that is Olympia by Paco Rabanne. Now this, this is the crescendo. So you've reached the end of my summer spring fragrance collection with me. I hope you all found a noteworthy fragrance to check out and enjoy this summer. Please leave, leave me a comment on some of your favorite spring and summer fragrances. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Take care.